So the builder pattern is basically uh, uh, used when there is a complex object structure. Like in object-oriented programming, when we are using domain-driven design or something of that kind, we have a composite structure of objects. So if, let's say, I have a multi-course dinner, a multi-course dinner would contain a drink, a starters, main course, and a dessert. So these are the different parts of the class for multi-course dinner. So the creation of this particular class would be really complicated. So in those kind of situations, we would go for a builder. So we would try and separate object construction from its representation. The representation of this dinner is that it has a drink, it has starters, uh, starts might have multiple options, and a main course and a dessert. However, to construct this, we would really provide a simple interface. So somebody who wants to take a multi-course dinner would just say, I want this, this, and this. And we would take care of constructing the entire objects for that. So we are separating the creation from the internal representation. Even though the internal representation is complex, we are providing a easy interface to the outside world. And that's where the builder pattern comes in. So the builder pattern comes in when we want to hide a complex internal structure from somebody who is trying to use the interface to create an object. So separates object construction from its representation. So that's basically what the builder pattern is all about.